Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make iTunes recognize your iPod, uh, iPhone or iPad. I just got mine uh, fixed by an uh, by a uh, iStudio shop guy and he taught me how to do it. This is extremely useful. Okay, so after you have like th this is probably your like uh, hundredth video that you have watched because most of them most of the problem will occur when manage device or the right uh, uh, the Apple mobile support and stuff but today I'm going to show you how to fix it this is like only 10% of the problem but some of you might need to watch this video so first of all you're going to go to computer okay. control panel okay you're going to click administrative tools and you're gonna click services okay the Apple mobile device will be here some of the problem will be to stop start the service and it will work restart the service and it will also work but my problem and some of your problem will be uh, that it's manual so you're gonna click, right click it click on properties you must make sure the startup type is automatic as my previous one was manual I don't know why but it was manual so you must make sure it's automatic click apply ok and restart your computer restart right here so after that you're gonna plug the cable in and plug your iPad in. While you're doing like all the things, the administrative tools, you must make sure iTunes must be closed and your iPad, iPod, or iTouch must not be plugged in. So, thank you for watching and I hope this will help you.